fight on a school bus becomes even more dangerous when someone pulls out a weapon. An investigation into the, bus, the fight on the bus is underway in Rutherford County right now, and Stephanie Langston from our Nashville sister station has more on the events that really could have impacted every student on that bus. Well, there are a number of questions tonight about protocol after a student that was on that bus says he was hit by pepper spray, and his family says they were never notified by school officials. The only way that any of the parents that I know of will know about it is because their children tell them. It's concerning for Nola Medellin, whose grandson came home Tuesday afternoon saying he'd been pepper sprayed on the school bus. His eyes burn, his mouth, he said his tongue burn, but he only got a slight amount of residual. Video capturing a violent fight between two females of Whitworth Buchanan Middle School. I mean, it wasn't a normal pull hair scratch fight you see from seventh and eighth graders. You know, in my day, if you got into it with someone, you might slap somebody or pull a little hair or something. It was over. This was violent. The video showing multiple punches thrown before the bus driver breaks it up. That's when you see one of the girls pull out what appears to be pepper spray and come towards the back of the bus. Or someone grabbed the girl with the pepper spray and that caused the pepper spray to just go everywhere. And you can hear the aftermath. <laughs> So why wasn't the bus cleared? Officials called and parents notified. Medellin questioned. I wondered what the procedures were. What are the procedures when a fight, a really bad fight, actually breaks out on the school bus? Will it be pepper spray next time or will it be a gun from some other child? Who feels like if they got away with a pepper spray and it's a weapon, maybe they could bring something else? Is that far-fetched? I don't think so in today. Now, officials with the school tell me that the bus driver did write up the students involved in the fight and that they are pulling video from the school bus to review and make sure they're disciplined appropriately. Now, the school bus driver says he did hear a student threaten to use pepper spray. However, it was never reported that someone actually did. The grandmother I spoke with today, on the other hand, tells me she informed the Department of Transportation Tuesday afternoon. Reporting from Murfreesboro, Stephanie Langston, News 2. Yeah, there's still a lot to unpack here, right? We will, of course, keep you updated as that investigation into the incident and protocol continues.